in this way i'm going to show you how you can uh, install bitray onto your server and uh, i'm going to show you kind of a different thing where you have you can use uh this vms for different users but you can manage them delete them manage their users control their usage and many other things so we have, can do these things onto both your phone and uh, on the pc so i'm going to use the pc just because uh just because uh, i want to give you a, a larger screen so that you can see each and everything but even if you're having an android phone well just stay tuned you're going to do each and everything well the first thing we're gonna do is to get a server secondly is to get a domain name and uh, we shall need the cloudflare account as well we shall need the script which we are going to use so i'm going to leave each and everything in the description of this video as well if i told you i miss out where well, you free to check out on our website over here so it will give you lots and lots and lots more things uh, to do okay now let's go and create our server which we need first i'm going to use ubuntu uh, i don't know so I, I will leave the links to the different server providers which i use for these stuff and i'll prefer i'll prefer okay let me give you london okay and i'm going to use a shared cpu and i will leave this so the vms which i'm going to create here is i'm going to leave it onto our website and if you want it you can come over to the website and use it so for the Mm -hmm. and uh what next is uh for us to create uh it's just to create the server i think everything is done okay it's line on is always easy to create a so our server is done the next thing is to get a domain name so to get a domain name there are different domain name providers which you can try out uh, i'll leave the links in the description of this video uh, at a cheaper cost but if you have uh, already created domain name well that's very easy and uh, as well if you want a domain name but uh, you're failing to get where to get it at a cheaper price or at a lower price well uh, there are these different server providers which are sorry domain name providers you can try out and check uh, and check uh, basing on your requirements or if you have if you .com or what i'll leave this link uh, into the description of this video as well if i told you already have a domain name you can create a subdomain you're going to use cloudflare here so you can just create a subdomain I, I, I made a tutorials about to how to do this and uh, even on our website here they are there so feel free to check it out okay okay so we log in i'm going to log in as root so these are the same things you can do onto your android phone uh, using Tamias, uh, using SSH and some other Linux uh, clients. So I think we are done. We are into our server now. Now the next step is just to run the script. But before we run our script, you just come over to Cloudflare and you get a domain name which you purchased anywhere. So long as uh, you just need to know how to uh, change the DNS or the name servers of your of your provider. And uh, after connecting to Cloudflare, all you need to do is to create a DNS record, okay? After creating the DNS record, if you don't know, you just come over here and, uh, well, I created that tutorial. You create a DNS record on uh, on Cloudflare. I think uh, it's just somewhere here. Okay, I think it's here. Yeah, it's here. It's feel free to check it out. Uh, it's fully documented each and everything. So what you need to do is um, to create that based on your requirements. And then after you creating that, uh, what you need to do is to copy the final product. So I created just like a subdomain, and uh, I think it is uh, scratchyd. dot I think that is it. Okay. And uh, our domain, our IP is this. So I'll need to edit this. Okay. Boom, we are there. Now what I will need to do is to just copy my script. Okay. I'll come back to my server and I will just paste that. So uh, actually we no longer need this screen and this one. So let me maximize this VPS. And uh, I think we are there. So all I will need to do is to press enter. So the script will download each and everything you need, all the requirements which you need for you to run Vitray. And uh, why I usually prefer scripts, because I know my audience are not that good at coding. However, you should be careful about uh, 
with the scripts you find onto the internet because uh, some scripts are incorporated with uh, the so-called mining scripts and uh, if at all uh, the script contains such uh, your server provider might uh, ban you from the website for mining crypto onto their servers mostly if you're using a shared cpu so almost installing victory onto a server and uh, if i just uh, maybe okay so if i'm to show you here you can see that our network or the protocol is kcp wireguard and uh, TLS is crowd. So if you want to use Nani TLS Victory, well, you're good to go with that. But uh, I'll need to change this port. But uh, if you find the port, fine. Well, you can do that. So let me first clear all this. So after installing the script, all you need to do to run Victory is just enter Victory. And after that, you'll be given that menu. And to manage or to modify the VMS, I'll just need to enter 3. And first, we are going to modify the port. And uh, our port which are going to enter is 443. Okay, now open that. Okay, the next thing we are going to do is um to change or to modify uh, the protocol to either a WebSocket or any other protocol we want. But uh, for the first purpose, I'm going to use WebSocket. Okay, modify config, and then I'll choose uh, the stream. So to modify protocol, you always use stream okay press enter and uh, you can see the different streams which uh, they will show you there so we're having tcp uh, fake http or websocket and many other things so i'm going to use uh, websocket here so let's just enter three the next thing they will ask me for the domain name and what i'll need to do is to just enter the domain name which we created okay strategy to the tk okay boom we are almost done and if we are to check the co our config right now you can see that uh, we are having uh we are having uh like uh our port being changed and that uh, the socket or the network is being changed to web socket and uh, the other thing we need to do is to open tls but if you want tls cross the you're free to go with that but i'm going to um cross tls so let me first do that mm. just going to open tls you enter three again and then you modify tls by entering six and uh, you just open tls sorry three uh, three then modify tls six open tls1 we are going to use let's encrypt and then you enter input your vps domain so i'm going to use scratchyg.v.ray.to.tk okay So I just do these things on the PC so that I can give you a bigger screen. But uh, if I uh, told you having an Android phone, they are the same things you can do. So don't mind that, uh, you know, Scott, you always use a PC. How about with a Android user? So it's the same thing. Just the same thing. The difference is just the screen is big. But nothing is different, okay? Then the other thing we shall need to do here is um, to just recheck our config. So you can see our config over there. And what we need to do is to create a user. So first I'm going to create a user by you always to enter two and then you just select add user. So after entering the user, after that they will ask you for the email. So you can think of any email. Maybe I can say subscribe. Subscribe. Maybe at qq.com. Any email doesn't need to be real, but I just have to create it for some database purposes to so that uh, if at all you want to delete user to um, check the user usage and many things you just have to check the email okay and uh, if you are to check the config you can see that you're having a client uh, called the, with the email here hope you can see it here 
with that and uh, we can also add another user maybe group manage again add user and then you can say maybe thank you thanks at kq.com okay now as well you can also check the forever so you can see the vmss which are already there and uh, the other thing we need to do is um, to just share this VMS to our clients. And uh, if I need to delete any of these, or if I want to manage their usage, I will just enter five and I will select Vitray Statistics. That is one, Vitray Statistics. And then you enter three for check user statistics results. And uh, you can see that uh, these users are this one with our email subscribers use the sofa zero those are the uplinks and the total data usage is that so this is how you can manage these users and control the amount of data they should be or the usage they should be using okay yeah and uh, if i'm to go back and uh, i will first check on uh, enter one he can uh, stop the server or I can also delete any user which I want to delete the user will just go to group manage and uh, I'll either there is add port delete user delete port so what I will need to do is um, to delete the user by entering three and then I will choose the user which I want to delete okay by entering the number so um, what I need to do is to enter the number so i'll choose there is user one user two user three hope you can see here so the user maybe i would like to delete is maybe user three so i'll just enter three and then the ip or the vms will be selected and all i will need to do is to enter y and boom the user will be deleted so i believe you guys have enjoyed this and if i try to again to create the user i'll just add the user then maybe i say maybe share so you guys you should share this video maybe at qq.com so you don't need to necessarily use qq but i just find it very easy for me to write and then if i check config well i have all my three configs which are here so I believe that's all i wanted to show you for this so uh, if you need all these commands i'll leave them in the description of this video all you need to do is to watch this video as you follow the commands which i've used so with that i'm escochiji we'll meet another video god bless you